Hey guys, welcome to another episode of TFB TV Shot 2019. I'm here with Andrew at Surefire. Andrew, thanks a lot for coming on again. Thank you for stopping by, man. Good to see you. You too as well. Let's hear the latest and greatest from Surefire. Awesome. We'll start right here at the XVL2. So I don't mean to flag you, but we'll lock this slide to the rear if I can figure out how to work a SIG. Basically what it is is a mini at peel for a pistol. So you have two lasers. They are slaved. There's a visible green and an infrared. And then you also have a white light and an infrared illuminator. Um, just like most at peels, you can select with a selector switch between uh, whether you want aiming low, aiming high, dual low, dual high, all that good stuff. This one's a 3B model, so it's got the safety screw in it to prevent you from going to the high-powered modes. Um, we'll also be coming out with a, a Class 1 civilian eye safe version of that. It's 1123, which is accessed from the front, which means you don't have to take the light off to change the batteries, which means you retain zero. Also, pretty convenient. Um, switching is very similar to X300s and X400s, so pressing down for momentary or forward for momentary, and then you rock up or down for constant on. We're also going to be releasing accessory switches like DG switches and a pressure switch for putting it on a long gun, like an SBR, PDW. Again, this is max vision beam pattern, so it's, it's not as much candela, but it would be good for handguns, PDWs, SBRs, anything that's intermediate to close range. Um, this, this looks like some straight up Tom Clancy stuff right here. <laughs> that's exactly what this is. This is, we've been working on this for many years, and this is an end user requirement. Um, long time coming, we're really excited to finally launch it. So far, land, they're going to have a duty holster for it. We already have a couple of them in hand for uh, 17, Glock 17 and Glock 19 with red dot, red dot mounted. Um, again, this is an end user requirement we've been working on for a long time, and we're really excited to launch it. And I think the consumer market's going to be very excited for this just for general consumer use. So I'll say. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. What's next I'm with Surefire? So next, we're going to jump over to the XR1. So this is very similar to our XC1 uh, and XC2 compact pistol lights, except for this one's rechargeable and it has two reflectors. So the high output on this guy is 600 lumens, um, super bright for the size, the weight. It has a magnetic charging point on the back, so it's kind of a dongle that snaps right on there, okay. charges in place, don't have to remove the light, no battery caps or anything like that. So What about voltage if I'm in different parts of the world with 220 and uh, 115? That's a good question. I'm not going to make up an answer. Okay. I'd have to get back to you on it, honestly. No worries. Um, I think you'll be fine, honestly, because it, it charges pretty quick. It's not a huge battery on it. The runtime is only 30 minutes, but again, it's a concealed carry market flashlight. It's not a replacement for an X300. Um, if you're doing stuff that's going to require a longer runtime, an X300 is probably the better option to go with. Yep. But for con concealed carry, it's a really good, a really good option. The overall footprint's about the same as an XC2, so holster compatibility uh, will be the same as far as XC2s are concerned. So that's pretty awesome because there's already options available. On top of that, we have an XR2, which is a light laser version. So XR1, light only, XR2, light laser, and the footprint of both is the same. Visible laser. Visible laser, okay, yes, good. yes, visible laser. All right. So very excited for that. Um, rechargeable compact, high output, pretty awesome. And then, out of my pocket, we have the Stiletto Pro. So you've seen the stiletto, the standard one right now is a polymer light. Uh, this is an aluminum, aluminum body version of it, yeah. still micro USB. The port is right there. There's a, a switch on the bezel as well as a switch on the tail cap for tactical use. Yeah. This one is up to 1,000 lumens. The standard stiletto is 600. So this one has all the lumens. Oh, <laughs> yes, it does. It's so lame, but okay. It does. Yeah. Right. It's got a re reversible pocket clip, so on the first stiletto, some people were asking they, they, for the ability to switch the pocket clip. It's a polymer molded body, so you cannot, but this one is an aluminum body. We put in two uh, threaded holes so that you can reverse the pocket clip. Ah, okay. If you want to carry it bezel down, it's a good option. I like it in the OEM configuration because you can throw it on a baseball cap and use it as a headlamp. Um, but yeah, that's the Stiletto Pro. Is it uh, waterproof? Uh, IPX7. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, uh, one meter thirty or... Yeah, one meter for 30 minutes, right? IPX7. All right. Last but not least, we Ooh. have a suppressor. So this is the 300 Thai suppressor. Obviously, Thai means titanium. It's a full titanium suppressor. It's based off our 300 SPS suppressor, which is a V-shaped baffle stack. Um, really good on 300 blackout, but it's also our best multi-caliber suppressor. So you could throw this on your 5.56 gun. You could even throw it on a 7.62 by 51 gun. Uh, the only thing is, because it's titanium, it's not as durable. So if you're going to be burning through mags or doing anything full auto, it's probably not the best option for that. But for most people and most cadence of fire, it's plenty durable. Um, you know, if, if you're looking for something robust, not the best option, but if you're, you know, looking for something that's lightweight, this is a really good option for you. That's so, retail price is going to be uh, $1349. Okay. 
Can you go over retail for the other guys as well? I can for most of them. Okay. XRs are, are, are pretty much going to be the same. It's not 100% yet, but it's going to be the same as current XC1. So you should be looking around the $300 mark for the light only one, around the $450 mark for the light laser combination. Okay. For the XVL2, we're at uh, $1,350. Okay. Which is very competitive. You look at the Appeal market, especially considered it has a weapon light uh, integrated as well. Is there any IR uh, light laser combo for handguns on the market? Right there now? is. There is. There's a couple out there. Um, different switching, maybe not as, as, as intuitive, you know, but in, in form factor wise, this is really, really compact. So I think as far as ergonomics, size, weight, and, and the switching methods, this is definitely going to be uh, probably the, a good contender for the top of that market. Sounds good. And then another one, where was the... Stiletto Pro? Stiletto, yeah. Probably just under the $200 mark. On $200, yep. all right. And all these are available today? No. No, okay. What, what? In, in true fashion, no. Uh, so first up is going to be this one, probably the next month or so. St the Stiletto Pro is going to be shipping. Okay. Um, then it'll be XR1 and XR2 at the end of Q1. Okay. Um, XVL2, this is the 3B version, and it is shipping now to military law enforcement. The Class 1 version will probably be mid-Q2. Outstanding. Yeah. Cool. So if you are mill law enforcement, you can buy this on, on, on letterhead. Um, for the class one version, like I said, Q2. Okay. Outstanding. Well, Andrew, thank you very much. Really awesome. appreciate it. Thank you, you very much. To get to, and yeah. Thanks a lot, Surefire. Thank you for stopping by.